This is gonna be super spicy. Super spicy. What's going on guys? We're here for some daily content, some daily workout videos. So let's go ahead and get started. We are off in three, two, one, and we are getting it. First of all, what are we doing here? First of all, actually before we're doing here, this is super, super spicy and really didn't feel great. So uh, what are we doing? We are doing Fran at 135. For those of you who don't know what Fran is, it's a female named workout. It's 21.59, 21.59 of thrusters. Originally it's 21.59 of thrusters at 95 pounds and then 21.59 of pull-ups. So 21, 21, 15, 15, 9, 9, you get the point. Um, but we are gonna crank it up a little bit and go at 135. So we have Fran at 135. And then as soon as you finish Fran at 135, you're immediately going on doing 10 pegboards for time, right kind of on the right hand middle of your screen. Um, so yeah, so that's the workout. Um, so let's go into the actual workout and what I thought I was capable of and kind of discuss it. So. I wanted something super simple, something pretty quick um, uh, that wasn't going to take more than 10 minutes. I put a seven minute time cap on this. I actually looked at this workout and thought I could probably do it in six minutes. Um, if I'm being really honest with you guys, I thought I could do it sub six. Um, I quickly realized that was not going to happen, honestly, about right now in the video. Um, I knew I've done Fran at 135 in about, I think my Fran 135 is like 230, 235, which is a decent Fran time at 95 pounds. Um, but again, like I've been saying in my, my previous videos, um, I'm, still, I'm still struggling with the bottom of my squat for, it, for my knee issue. Um, and it's becoming a little more easier to do squatting movements like a thruster or a wall ball or an air squat. Um, but I can't catch things yet. So I can't catch a squat clean in the bottom of the hole and I can't catch a squat snatch or a full snatch in the bottom of the hole. And so it's a little bit uncomfortable when I clean this and I don't feel, feel very comfortable like bouncing out of the bottom. So that's why it might look uh, a little slower for those thrusters and that's why I'm not going to probably get a amazing time on my Fran uh, at 135 because I'm, I'm not super comfortable yet with it but we are slowly, ever so slowly getting there. Um, and to be honest, like, you have to ask yourself, like, if I completely crush Fran, if I completely crush Fran at 135 and 230, like, is it going to do me any good? Yes, it might give me some more time than my Fran time you're going to see, but it might give me an extra 30 to 35 seconds, but how will I use that 30 to 35 seconds? Am I so gassed that now I can't even, like, go into, I can't even go into and do any of the pegboards because I'm just so blown? That's really the question you have to ask yourself. And maybe that's an excuse um, to go for a slower Fran, but that was kind of my thought process. Because I thought maybe I could go sub six, but in order to go sub six, I would have to do a three minute Fran and then I have to do three minutes for pegboards. And to do 10 pegboards in three minutes, you're looking at one every 20 seconds, but that will only get you to nine. So you have to go faster in there or do a double at some point in order to garner some time. Um, and so right now I'm actually finishing up my Fran. That should be it right there. So a Fran in 314 at 135. Again, like you're going to hear at the end of the video, it isn't my most stellar time um, for Fran or even my best time 135, but knowing what I have to do later on or do after it is kind of the reason I kept it that way. So let's just see here. So I start my first pegboard at 336. So we're going to see how long it takes me to do all 10 pegboards at this point. So when I approach these pegboards um, after doing Fran, I thought, you know, maybe I could do a double. But as soon as I got done Fran, I just I made that mental decision that instead of doing doubles, um, I was just going to do quick singles, which is something you've heard me talk about when it comes to light barbell cycling. And I've decided to use the same concept here for pegboards. Um, you're going to see me rest for... What was that five seconds? So that's honestly not shabby, right? If I do a pegboard and then rest for five seconds, I know that I can usually do a pegboard in about 15 seconds. And so if I'm doing a pegboard resting five seconds, that's 20 a rep every 20 seconds, which is literally what I wanted. So um, I do think that I rest a little longer every three reps. Um, Honestly, I don't couldn't give you a reason why. I think it's mainly, mainly because I just want to chalk my arms. Um, you're not here right now at this moment in time. And if you look, if I pan the camera, 
and I look outside, it had been raining all day and the sun came out and it is humid as all get out. And so the uh, reason for me chalking is that those grips on the, bo- on, the, on, the, on the bar, the grips on the pegboard are just wet. And so I'm trying to chalk up and essentially it's turning my chalk into paste. Um, so I think I'm at four, I think that was four. Um, I've been talking too much and not really paying attention to my rep scheme. Um, but yeah, so let's talk about good scaling options for those of you who are willing to try this workout, right? Um, I decided I want to do something simple and spicy, and this was what I chose. Um, you can easily not do Fran at 135. It, it is still going to be very simple. It would have been a different workout for me, but it would have been probably the same intensity at the end. Had I just done it at 95 pounds, it would just have been faster, right? I would have got the pegboard faster. I would have had more time. I might have been a little more gas. It just depends. Um, so uh, for those who are willing to scale, if 135 is too, too heavy, too hard, I would shoot for, you need to get your friend done around three minutes. If your friend, if you choose a weight and your friend takes you four minutes, you've done it wrong, right? It needs to be around three minutes. I believe I was like 306, 309, or 314, I can't exactly remember. And that's about right, right? And so um, you need to choose a weight that allows you to finish around three minutes, approximately. If that's 95, if that's 75, if that's just the bar, choose a respectable weight. Uh, Pegboards, um, yeah, watch me fail a pegboard there. My hand slipped off. Uh, Pegboards, if you have one, great. If you can do it, great. If if it's hard, that's okay. Choose an easier number. Maybe it's five, maybe it's three. It should be something that's challenging um, that you can probably get done three minutes. So if you can only do one pegboard every minute, then you're doing three pegboards. That's totally fine. Um, This should be my last rep, actually, guys. This should be my 10th rep, if I'm counting correctly. Um, and then if you can't do a pegboard, totally cool. Pick something different. You know, I've talked about it millions of times. Towel pull-ups, strict pull-ups, anything of that nature will get you there. It's just kind of the same intensity. So, um, yeah, just pick something that will get you, um, kind of the desired intensity of what I'm looking for. I'm looking for, Fran is really about breathing. It really comes down to your intensity on your arms. Well, that was a... Decently slower Fran than normal at 135, but the reason for that was to save that, oh, spicy. So yeah, Fran will really affect your upper body and the same thing for the pegboard. So hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you're looking for another video to watch, I have my latest one, which is right here or here, depending upon where I put it in the screen right here. Um, But give that a watch. Appreciate you guys watching. Talk to you guys later.